Hello and welcome everyone to another 3D Tutor video. Today, we're going to explore one of my favorite geometry nodes in Blender, a node that's specifically designed for creating wall and column patterns. This node is incredibly versatile, allowing for complete customization of wall patterns. You can add custom meshes and configure patterns in any shape or form to suit your design needs. We focus on making this geometry node simple to use, while still offering you the full spectrum of creative freedom for your architectural structures. Alright, so I already have changed the wall variations at the moment. I'll show you how to do that at the end of the video. But for now though, when we do have ourselves with the geometry node opened up, all we gotta do is just basically to start off using it. We can just go into it by clicking edit and it's going to be opening ourselves up with the curvature. We can just simply click A, delete, and delete all vertices and that's going to give us a brand new plate to work with then afterwards we can just go on to draw mode click 7 to go to the top down view and we can start drawing ourselves a nice line for example like so we can also just go into the usual uh, editing for the curvature and we can just simply edit the way we want the wall to look like and just by doing this we can create ourselves a very nice scenery i can just select it all as well i can click shift d uh, G and Y and just move it off to the side and you can see I have myself another uh, line that's going in a nice kind of an alleyway. Now if we want to for example set ourselves up with additional parameters there's a bunch of parameters within the geometry node to make it work within the setting. So for example we have a control for the if we want these to be more randomized for example we can do so by clicking randomize tiles and then changing up the seed to get the desired result. Alternatively, instead of using randomizer, we have additional controls. For example, we can have windows and doors shown. If we turn both of these off, we can see that it's just going to give us a nice tiled wall. And if we do turn on windows, we can even uh, adjust the amount that we get. So for example, we can make it every fourth wall. It's going to add us a window. And you can also do the same thing for the door as well if you enable it you can simply increase or decrease the amount depending on how many you want and it'll give you a nice result in that regard as well. So with that being said, what we can also do is we can make use out of this geometry node in order to create ourselves a circular coliseums, for example. All I'm going to do is I'm going to select it, hit Shift D to make a duplicate out of our entire geometry node. I'm going to click GY, just put it off to the side like so. I'm going to go into it select it all, delete all the vertices like so. And then I'm going to click Shift and A within this curvature, select the circle. And as you can see, we're going to get ourselves a nice circle. If we were to start expanding it, we can see that we're getting ourselves a custom type of a size for this. So this is a very nice use out of it. And just like that, we're able to get ourselves a very nice setup. So for example, I can just Click Shift D again, just can raise this up, for example, make this a bit smaller and I can just make a nice type of a tower like so, or we can invert that and make a sort of a Coliseum. And because this is a separate curvature, separate geometry node, we can make additional um, type of variants within this wall. So I can, for example, turn off all the windows in this particular one and I can turn um, the door to be every second one just like that and we're going to get ourselves a very very nice type of a setup in a fast and easy way and not only that we also have some additional controls just to make uh, some things faster so pillars for example we can make some variations for the pillars if we want to we can also make the tiles a little bit higher up as well squishing them or making them taller and just getting a bit of an additional shape in comparison for example to some additional ones that we have already in the scene it makes everything so much faster in that way. Alright, so in order to replace the mesh, what you can do is you can simply go ahead and do that. Uh, we have a couple of assets first. Those are the presets basically. We have one for column or wall, top and a bottom section of the wall. And then the wall is going to be replaced by the window or it's going to be taken uh, care of with the door, which you can just simply put it within your geometry. So. For us to simply change them, we can go ahead and just add a mesh cube and it has to be, for the wall, it has to be 2 meters in regards to length. And then afterwards, the rest, you can simply set it up easily. So I have the snapping enabled, I can just go ahead and uh, grab this, drag it up upwards like so. 
make it a little bit smaller just like that maybe even thinner like so and i can for example i can just go into it and make some changes if i want to within the wall itself so if i want to have a bit of an extrusion like so i can do that and now with this wall set up like so i can go back onto this i can simply go on to the geometry node find the geometry wall or the the wall itself and i'm going to go ahead and change it with this so this is going to be just called a cube i'm going to go here and simply replace this with a cube and just like that we're now going to get ourselves a wall that's nicely set up like so with that extra bit of an edge in the middle alternatively what you can do is instead of creating your own one you can just reuse the ones that we have over here so for example we can grab the piece at the bottom and we can just simply start um, adjusting it and making it to our desired result so for example if i want the ridge to be a lot higher up we can do that as well we can just simply make it like so and now if we look at the result we're going to get ourselves a nicer type of a ridge over here so it's simple as easy to use and we can pretty much do anything that we want with them we want to make something thinner for example we can do that as well all we gotta do is just for example select the wall go on to edit mode click a and click s and x just make it thinner like so we can do the same thing for this door as well select it all with an edit mode sx make it smaller and just like that we're going to get ourselves a thinner door frame best thing about it is that you can uv unwrap your assets export them out and texture them in any shape or form and then you can create any patterns that you want for the walls and uh, just get any style basically out of your assets we have so much versatility so much control over what we have within the setup and we can pretty much use it in any shape way or form for our scenes and environments a couple of things to worth knowing is whilst creating your own personal meshes what you need to know is that these origin points the orange dots has to be basically within the exact same locations for example this pillar over here has an origin point set at the bottom of the mesh like so at the center of it but the rest of the meshes will have it set in the middle and bottom area basically so that includes for all of these meshes over here as you can see this one is set up like that so that's something worth knowing when creating your own personal meshes i would recommend you to just simply the easiest way for you to grab the same kind of a setup is just to select it hit shift s go to cursor to select it like so and now you can just create a new mesh like so and hit tab go ahead and just make it smaller like so and then within edit mode when you're moving it around you're going to basically keep that origin point within the same exact area so that's my recommendation for setting this uh, type of an origin point to be an exact same piece like so if you want some curvature within your wall so for example these ones over here they are slightly bent maybe it's better to show it over here there you go they have a bit of a curvature if you do want that curvature you need to make sure that your walls have a bit of an edge loop so for example if you go to edit mode over here you'll see that they have a edge loop going all the way around the mesh like so that gives us a bit of a setup for deformation so when we're using it with the curvature it'll deform the mesh everything except for the pillars that is it'll deform the mesh to be going alongside with the curvature if you'd like to see the geometry node itself you can go ahead and remake it from this video over here I will go slowly and show you the exact setup on how everything is laid out but it actually is quite nicely set up so let me just go ahead and show you i'll just zoom out real quick and if you want to save time you can go ahead and just simply purchase it from our store but here it is i'll just go through it slowly whilst we're at it before you go don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel as we have a lot of other geometry nodes to offer. We recently uploaded one for snow, which is perfect for the winter season. And to top it all off, we also have a lot more coming your way. Be sure to look forward to them. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.